On the campaign trail now with 12 days to go, Hillary Clinton and the First Lady hitting the stage together for the first time while Donald Trump announces that he's ready to bring out some more firepower of his own. And just thinking to myself right now, we should just cancel the election and just give it to Trump, right? Donald Trump getting a boost from recent polls showing the presidential race tightening, Her promising to work for so everyone bad. if elected. We're going to work on our ghettos. We're going to work with the African-American community, and we're going to solve the problem of the inner city. Earlier, he and his Very wife Melania sitting down with ABC talking about her role in the campaign's final days. I might join him. We will see. She's actually going to make two or three speeches. Oh. And I will tell you. <laughs> made some news right there. Sounds like it was news to Melania, too. She's agreed to do two or three speeches, and I think it's going to be big speeches, important speeches. You mentioned I think it. it's going to be great. Meantime, in North Carolina. First ladies, we rock. Hillary Clinton getting some very popular campaign company, appearing together for the first time. As our first African-American first lady, she's faced pressures I never did. And she's handled them with pure grace. The campaign calls the first lady their not-so-secret weapon. She has more experience and exposure to the presidency than any candidate in our lifetime. Yes, more than Barack, more than Bill. So she is absolutely ready to be commander-in-chief on day one. And yes, she happens to be a woman. But in these final days, hacked, unverified emails continue to drip out about lucrative business deals for Bill Clinton, often involving donors to the Clinton Foundation, and others about Hillary Clinton's staff's reaction to news of her private email server. Did you have any idea of the depth of this story, one asks? The response is, nope, we were told that everything was taken care of. Still, Hillary Clinton's up six points nationally in an average of all the polls that are out there. Trump may be gaining momentum, but he's also running out of time if he wants to close this gap and win. And early voting continues at a healthy pace. In Miami-Dade, early votes collected are up to 133,488. That does not include people who have mailed in their ballots. Meantime, up in Broward, the early voting total is 120,397.